Hi guys. Welcome to the 4Wheel TV channel. Support US by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the notification button. Thank you. Kia's third generation seed hatchback has been on sale for three years now and it's proved itself a worthy competitor for the likes of the Ford Focus and the Volkswagen Golf, however, the true test of a family hatchback's gumption is how well the entry-level model performs once you've stripped away trinkets such as high-tech infotainment systems and posh interior trim. And, we're happy to report that the seed fares well, the cheapest C2 specification does without the integrated satin AV, heated seats, and dual-zone climate control you get on the flagship GT Line model, but the interior isn't exactly Spartan. You still get a leather multifunction steering wheel, cruise control and a handy screen in the center of the binnacle to display information like fuel economy and range. Another strength of the entry-level seat's interior is that it's easier to get comfortable behind the wheel. The cheaper model's manual seats are mounted lower and have a bit more adjustment than the electric seats found on top-spec cars. There's plenty of adjustment in the steering column, too, meaning you're not overreaching for the wheel if you're tall. The entry-level engine is Kia's familiar turbocharged 1.0-liter three-cylinder petrol unit, which is also found in the Stonic and the Rio. Here, it produces 118 brake horsepower and 172 newton meters of torque, it's actually quite a willing unit given the size of the car it has to pull. You have to work the gearbox to get the best performance from the engine, but all of the torque is available from just one. 500 RPM, so, as long as you're in a low enough gear, you'll have no problem joining motorway traffic or overtaking.